and welcome to your gold market update for today wednesday the 21st of september 2022 mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here for your daily wander around the markets let's have a look at what's happening now of course overnight there was a weak session in the us to resume a downwards trend we really reversed the previous day's gains markets very cautious prior to that fed us interest rate decision tonight there is 0.75% rise priced in, but a statement that goes along with that and the press conference will be equally, if not more important, in terms of the market response. US futures are flat in Asian trading after a positive start, and Asian indices are following that negative US lead we're seeing the ASX, again reversing yesterday's gains down around 0.9%. European equity futures are pointing to a mildly lower open also but that may change, but caution will be the order of the day, irrespective of asset class. US dollar is higher and remains in a tight range. We're seeing gold retest 1660 support all weaker again, but remains within a range between about 90 to $95 a barrel on the Brent CFD crude contract. Copper is just about holding 350 support today, and the VIX rose yesterday on that equity market weakness and remains very firmly over that 25 key level, around about 26 and a half in today's trading. Bitcoin subsided again after looking quite positive early on to continue that softness we saw start last week. It's around about 18,600, which is bang smack on that support level. Of course, on the economic data front, it's really all about that US interest rate decision tonight. There's little else of note today. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye today. And we're going to start with the GB pound Kiwi. Uh, you can see it's been trading in a short term range of around about 35 pips, just above that 193 level. You can see the high it hit last night at 193.69. So we're suggesting that potentially we may see an up move towards that level again if we get a break in the short term. But all bets will be off come the interest rate decision tonight so short-term time frames may be more prudent than longer time frame charts today the same can be said in the asx which as we said is reversing yesterday's gains but we are seeing some move higher in call stocks uh, we see new hope here uh, already breached a key level at around about 582 yesterday and we've got a follow through today up around six dollars if we can hold that uh, that would be significant this is if we quickly look at the monthly chart all-time highs suggesting the call story isn't going to go away in the medium term trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now